right, this is John Cola with OKRaw.com. Today we have another exciting episode for you, and today we got my nephew. Hi. This is Nico on the video for you guys, because I'm going to be teaching Nico about coconuts today. And actually, today's a very special day because not only do I have a pile of coconuts here, um, some of them are actually sprouted coconuts that I bought for a dollar at the 99 only stores here. Um, you might not be able to find these, and normally they're never sprouted when you buy them. This is from uh, ProMateProduce.com is where they're coming from. I believe these are from Mexico, actually. So we're going to talk more about coconuts. You're going to learn more about them, the water inside, the meat, and more importantly, you guys are going to learn more about a coconut sprout on the inside and maybe how to sprout a brown coconut should you buy one that is not already sprouted. Also how to figure out if the one that you buy is already sprouting or not. All right, Nico, so what's your experience with coconuts? Have you ever seen a coconut like this um, before? Yep, yeah. in like Miami, um, there was like this stand where they had these coconuts, then they had this machine where they cracked it, uh -huh. and then so they put a straw, and then you could drink it, it, it was so good. Anyways, and then they would open it up, and then you could, and then they would give you a plastic spoon, and then you could just eat the meat, it was so good. Oh cool, so you that, that one's called a young coconut, and that's the kind if you want to get them, usually they're in the husk in Miami, and maybe Hawaii, and Puerto Rico. But otherwise, you get them shaved down from Thailand or Vietnam, and I have other videos on these kinds of coconuts. Then they have the white coconuts that look like this, but are white on the outside. And they're a little bit more mature than the Thai coconuts or the Vietnam coconuts. And then you could buy the brown coconuts, which are the common coconuts that people think of when they think of coconut. These are my least favorite type, unless I'm making a coconut milk that I made today. Um, I could use that for my ice cream and whatnot. But anyways, when you normally buy these coconuts, what it looks like is it looks like this right here. I had to pick out one of these guys as you shake it. So shake this up, Nico. Can you hear water oh, sloshing yeah. around? Can you guys hear it too? Yeah, so shake it near the camera. All right. Can you hear it? <laughs> All right, so that's generally a good thing when you hear water sloshing around in a coconut because what that means is, you know, that means that there's it's not a leak because if you shake it and it doesn't, if this you don't, one's not, yeah, it's not shaking. So no, that that one might be a bad no, coconut. A so normally you won't want to buy that. And also, yeah, like Nico said, this has a crack in it. So normally you wouldn't want to buy one that's cracked and it doesn't shake because this could have been a leaker. And when I open this up, it might be moldy inside. But the reason why I bought this is number this one. one. Doesn't shake either. It, oh, good. Maybe find all the ones that don't shake, and I'm gonna open those first. You do that while this I'm doing shakes. this. All right, cool. So put them in order of no shake to shake. Because when you hear okay. it shake, you could hear this one shake. And guess okay. how much water is in there? A lot. A lot. So maybe like 75%, you think? Yeah. And then how about the other one that shakes? Mm -hmm. Is that about half water? Mm -hmm. You guess? Like Five. by the way it sounds? 35. 35. All right, so put them in order from least water to the most water. Okay. So then I could kind of know. All right, cool. So while Nico's doing that, I'm going to explain to you guys. Yeah, normally you wouldn't want to buy one that's cracked, but because this was actually out of one of the eyes, or actually the mouth, um, it's starting to sprout, and maybe they cut off the sprouts. Normally you would never find coconuts that are starting to sprout where the sprout is cut off, but this is like an inexpensive brand, and they're just trying to probably sell any kind of coconuts for money, even if they're bad. And so this one is probably sprouted, and that's why I bought it. But normally you would never want to buy a cracked one. All right, Nico, you got those almost all uh, all yeah. figured out. Okay, what's what? So tell me what's it up. It goes. It goes. This one has like the most. And then this one. All right, that's a lot too. Yeah. And, uh, those those are good for the meat and the mature water. Yeah, maybe less. a little bit less. Yeah. And then this one. All right, maybe a little bit less. And then this one after. Uh huh. And then that this one doesn't even shake. Oh, this one goes here. Mm hmm. Doesn't shake. No. Nothing. That um, one shakes a little bit. Maybe like that, and then these would just go like this. Wait, oh, these are the ones that don't shake. So let's yeah. let's. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and open these ones that don't shake first. All right. Okay, all these ones shake. Okay, good. Wait, let me. See. This one. That's very 10%. little. Yeah, that's hardly anything. Yeah, that's barely anything in there. Okay, then we could start. This one, nothing. That yeah. one's nothing. 
And then this one, that's nothing. Nope. All right, so that has very little. So we're gonna, okay. those two, and then we're gonna open these ones first. Now, actually all these are cracked, and that may or may not be a good sign. Once again, this one was purchased because it's starting to sprout, has sprouted, or the sprout was actually cut off, and there's actually gonna be the, the queen's candy inside or the coconut sprout to eat. Uh, let's see, on the ones that shake a little bit, uh, all these ones still have a little nub, so it's hard to tell if they actually, if this started to sprout and then they cut off the, cut off the sprout and then sold it, or if this is just starting to germinate, but we'll know when we open it up. And then how you could know if you want to buy one, because normally you're not going to find one with nubs still on it, um, because they usually don't sell them like that, because normally these are bad and not good for sale. You could sprout them too in hot water. Yeah, that's what I'm going to tell everybody next. So yeah, if you want to sprout it yourself, you're going to want to look on every coconut. It looks like a monkey face. And there's two eyes, which has the eyebrows. You can feel the eyebrows or the ridges on it. And then one has the mouth. In the mouth has like the little seed starter where it'll start. And if you look closely at the little um, mouth, which is the big round hole, if you feel it and it's starting to be bumpy, like uh, like have a little bump on it, that means it's starting to germinate on there. And if you want it to germinate further, then you'd actually put it in like a, a bucket of water. And some people just put it in a bucket of water just in a warm place in your house and then put rocks on it so it stays submerged for, you know, three to four days. Although my, a faster way would be to like warm up the water up to like 92 degrees and then maybe you could only put it for a day and this will simulate like it's in the tropics because coconuts are a tropical palm. And if it's not in the tropics, it won't fruit. So, like, this wants a minimum temperature of, like, will, 72 degrees. Yeah, it will, like, stimulate it to, like, I don't yeah. know, sprout it faster. Yeah, if it's warm, it'll sprout faster. So this yeah. one I could feel is a bit bumpy, so I could sprout this one if I wanted to. But I have all these sprouted ones already, so first step is if you shake it, it doesn't shake, then you don't have to drain the water out. So then in that case, I'm just going to go ahead and move to the opening step, which I have this uh, meat cleaver which you should definitely be uh, be careful with. And what we're gonna do is, you know, there's the bottom of the coconut where there's like a little like tail, and then there's the top where there's the eyes, and then we're gonna go, so that's like the North Pole, the South Pole, and then we have the equator, right? Right around the middle, like the Earth. Yeah. The we're just gonna go ahead and tap the coconut on the equator very going. carefully, and keep turning the coconut and tapping on the equator. And then, Wait, it just opens. It cracks open. Yeah, and then what will happen That's is... That's so cool. It'll it crack cracks. open pretty much. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh my god, it's black. Yeah, so this is moldy because it's so old already. So this, this part we're going to throw away for sure because it's moldy, if you guys can see that. This sprout has a little bit of mold on one side, but the other side is good. Oh my god. So it's a god. whole coconut sprout, so I'm so glad I bought this. Yeah, it smells so good. Yeah, I don't want to eat that one. That one's moldy. That one's not good, Nico. We're going to throw that one away. Yes. But we have other coconuts we you, could eat. You guys don't want to eat this. It's yeah, you bad. don't want to eat that. Yeah, that's why you want to buy one that's hopefully, you know, you could shake you could because if there's sick. water in there, it's it's fresh. You could get sick. So basically what happened on these, I surmise, is that they basically cut the sprout off this and then they sold it. Oh my gosh, yeah. So this one's really moldy in there. Wait, let me, oh my god. So yeah, we're not going to... Yeah, gonna, that's blue. Yeah, so like this, the sprout here is oh all my moldy. Oh that's so gross. Yeah, so we're just going to go ahead and, um, let me see, what are we going to do? We're going to go ahead and carefully cut off the bad spots. And then underneath the bad spots, it looks good. So we're oh, just going to yeah. go ahead and cut off all the bad stuff. So yeah, so now I basically cut away all the bad spots of the, that was moldy. And now we have a coconut sprout. This one has, for sure. So now we're going to go ahead and, um... We could cut you off a little piece, Nico. Okay. Is Try this that. Good? Oh yeah, that's a good piece. What does it taste like? I mean, it's pretty dry. Mm. It's like older. You like it? Mm. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> I've never ate it before. Yeah, First I know. Time. <laughs> I um, know you had coconut coconut chips earlier. Mm-hmm. It's just like. What does it taste like? It tastes like nothing but with like a little coconut water. But like, yeah, it's wet with the coconut water on the yeah. inside. It tastes like coconut water, but like kind of spongy. What other food does it taste like? Can you think of anything? Like jicama. Oh yeah, maybe like jicama. I would say it tastes more like 
angel food cake because it's kind of spongy. Tastes like Takis, but... What are Takis for people that don't know? I don't know. Because they're like Cheetos, but they're like hot Cheetos. They're hot Cheetos. Oh, so we could like flavor this up. No, we could put some Reaper peppers in here and then it would be taste like Takis. No, they're hot <laughs> Cheetos, but they're like with lemons in it. Oh, all right. And then you could... And they kind of taste like hot Cheetos, too, and Takis. Okay, cool. All right, so let's open another one. Mm. You want another one of these or you want to get a different kind? Mm. Let's try this one. Is that the one that shakes a little bit? Yeah. That one's the least. Yeah, okay. there's some water, a little bit of water oh, no, here. This one kind of shakes a little. All right, so this might be fresher and maybe it's not bad. Let's try that one again. All right. All right. So let's see, I'm going to first crack it in half. Once again, take the knife on the equator. Uh-oh, this is leaking water. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look, this is a defective sprout. What's that mean? This is bad water in here. It's like going gross. Can I smell it? Oh, smell it. It smells fermented. Oh. And then you can see the, the little sprout starting to form in here. So this is like, see that's the little sprout forming, but it's all like, oh. see how this is all mush? It's like all mush, and this is basically like rotten. Oh. All right. So that was a bad coconut. All right, so let's try another one, Nico. This one. All right, that shakes a little bit too. Maybe it'll be good, maybe it'll be bad, but we will see. Let's see. It's leaking too. Right. To, oh my uh -oh. god! I'm leaking the water everywhere. I should put it over this. Yeah. All right, this is a good one. Ah, oh, that's a that's a bad one too. Look at that. All right, so this got like some it yellow is. in here. That's like mold, and then you can tell oh, it between. Oh, smells so bad. Oh yeah, it smells like it, it smells, smells gross. Like fart. Yeah. So this is another bad one. It has a little sprout nub. But it's not good. That means that water is bad. Oh yeah, the water is bad, yeah, so we gotta throw the water out. I didn't know. But yeah, you never know until you open it up. So you can see, Nico, what happens is the meat's in here. It's nice and thick. Can you right? eat the meat still? No, no, if it smells bad, throw it out. I mean, you can see all the mold in here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the meat's old, the water's in here, the water feeds a little sprout to grow. But okay. this is cut prematurely and it's bad. Alright, let's open some more. Try this one. Well, that might be a good one. Let's save the good ones. Let's try to open some ones that might be bad because we can see what's up. Mm, do you want to try these ones? Yeah, let's try the ones sense. that are dry. These ones might be better. I don't know. We'll see. So maybe it's not a good idea to buy the coconut sprouts no. at the dollar store because already we had one that was kind of all right. Nope. And then the next two were bad. So this is a good learning experience yeah. for me because I got excited when I heard... They had coconut sprouts. do not recommend this. Don't recommend it. Nope. How do you know it's enough? Uncle John? What, to, to hit it? Yeah, you just keep beating it. Well, you just... Oh, yeah, this one's really bad, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, look at that. That's so nasty. Oh, that's black on the inside. Yeah, we do not recommend this. This one's already starting to crack. No, not recommended. <laughs> oh, this one's going to be bad on the inside too, I think. Yeah, if they're cracked, then you definitely don't want to buy them. Not recommended at all. Oh, yeah, look. This one's got a sprout in there. But then also it's got green mold, red mold, red and white mold. Oh, my God. And I definitely Black mold. Yeah, and I definitely would not eat that sprout in there either, even though there's a sprout in there. <laughs> All right, what about the next one? I don't know. What do you think, good or bad? Bad. <laughs> Shakes a little bit, but it's cracked, so that's not a good sign. And that's the issue, you know, if you guys are finding coconuts that are cracked, I generally recommend not buying them, and normally I would not buy them, but I saw that these were sprouted, so I'm like, oh, they're sprouted. I'm not going to worry about it, and they're only a dollar, so I mean, each one that's bad only cost me a dollar. And if I get a sprouted one, then it's totally worth it because coconut sprouts, if you try to buy them online, is like $30. Sprouts? You could just buy coconut for $1 and then sprout. Well, you could sprout it yourself, but then they might not sprout because they could take months to sprout. And you go, you got to soak it in water 
for three days and you take it out of the water once it's once it germinates then you got to put it in a bag it's with some $30. water dollars well yeah you gotta wait three months that's worth 30 dollars. or you could go to florida and try to find them on the beach hmm. Oh, that's bad. Oh, yeah, this one's all slimy, too. Look at that. Oh, my God, that's so nasty. It's, oh this God. is like this is like yellow coconut water. I'm not going to tip that up. Look at that. See how it's yellow and slimy? Yeah, we have to throw that up, too. Yeah, that one's going to get thrown up, too. All right, this goes in the... All right, Nico, next one. We're getting through my coconuts really fast now. This one, though. All right, this one might be good. All right, so let's see the technique on this. I'm gonna probably try to use a knife. But don't put it in there because it might not be good coconut water. So I'm gonna, I think we're gonna cut this out first. All right, we push that out. So now I could drain the water. So we're gonna go ahead and drain out the water. On oh, the water, you can always tell if it's good or not, if the water is like cloudy or clear or if it's kind of looks gelatinous like jelly. This looks a little bit thick and jelly-like. It's not totally like water. That's a lot. Uh, a coconut could contain up to like, a nice size coconut could contain 16 ounces of water. 16? Yeah, but these That's are like... That's coconut water. But this is a small coconut, and when they sprout, they don't have as much water. Oh my god. This is so crazy. All right, what are we going to get in here? And you go, good or bad? Bad. No, I'm going to say good. Good, good, good. All right, watch this. Oh. Bad. Yeah, so the meat's pretty good shape. Oh, it smells nasty. And then the sprout in here is just completely black rotten. Yeah, almost makes you want to throw up, huh? Okay. All right, Nico, what's your best guess on the next one? Um, oh, is it, oh, this is the one that we really, I popped the thing out already. So this had a nub. So the other way you could tell if it's good or not. I think it's going to be good. Yeah, because it, 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 it's not sprouted. So I have a little knife. This is a fillet knife I use. And I stick it in the big hole, which is like the two eyes and the mouth. And I just carve it out. And if you listen carefully when you stick it in there. How hard that pop? Did you hear a pop? Oh, yeah. It should go. I heard that. If it goes, then it's probably good because yeah. there's osmotic pressure. But if it doesn't, if you don't yeah. hear that, then it's probably not good. So I think this is gonna be good. I don't know. Oh, it's black. But it's black too, so that's not a good sign. Oh yeah, see, this is like. Oh, it's not good. To me, this is uh. Not good. Prob probable that is not good. Let's drain out the water and see. Yeah, it's not coming out in the water. Yeah, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's just completely bad. Another sign that's good is that it's actually the water's clear, which is good because sometimes around the around the mouth could be bad, but then the meat could be good. Yeah. So it kind of depends. So overall, this looks this. Oh yeah, but then that's not good. See that? You see, guys, see that coming out? It's, it's like, like slime. Mucus. Yeah, it's like mucus coming oh, out. Oh, that's like, gross. That's like moldy <laughs> coconut water. Mucus. Yeah, mucus coconut. All right, so now we're going to crack this open. All right. Yeah, not that so. Bad. Yeah, not that bad, but not that good. So, nope. what's happening is right around the stem, or where the little hole was, it's like going bad. And that's where the black stuff was. And then on the bottom here, Actually, this smells like decent. Mmm, yeah. But this top part, it's just all mush, like right near the, right near the, right near the mouth. You can so, get sick if you ate that. Well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't eat this top part, but this bottom part, if I rinse it out, we'll dehusk it in a minute, and then we'll, we might be able to Need use it. that. But then this water is not good. Mm -mm. So we have another cup. All right, so why don't we try this one next? It has like another little nub thing coming out. And this one, I think, this one's probably better than the last one, personally. I want to try this one. Yeah, well, those ones will be good for sure. 
No, these ones are too bad. So, okay, we're going to go ahead this and open one, this my, one. This one's probably not. All right, listen to this one, Nico. Tell me if you heard. Psst. I didn't hear it. I heard. I didn't hear nothing. I heard like, I heard like that. I think this one's probably not good either. So generally, I don't recommend to get them with any kind of nub sticking out of the mouth because generally, they're gonna be bad. <laughs> then why did we get them? Well, because I got them because I want to sh I want to show you if they had a sprouted ones because I heard they had sprouted ones, but so far we had like it was kind of good but not really that good. No, like that's the only good one. Yeah, so this this has not been super successful well, for yeah. us today. That's a lot of water. Yeah, so at least on this one you can see there's like some uh, the water is not too bad. There's probably some mold. I would say there's mold near the mouth and the other part's fine, potentially, but let's see. Potentially. Actually, you know what? This That's actually good. looks really good shape. All right, except for you see this you right can here. Cut that part off. Yeah, if we cut this part off, this might be all right. We have a little bit of moldy section. We can eat the other side and cut. Yeah, it off. but you could see you see that between there. Oh yeah, that's. This is like mold. So sometimes when the coconuts get old, they they get mold in between the shell and the meat. So this one's got mold between the shell and the meat in some areas. Um, Although some other areas look all right. All right, Nico, we have three coconuts left. I know you're going to get to eat some meat and drink some water at some point. So which one do you want to try next? This one. You think that one's going to be good? Yes. Yeah, that one sounds pretty good to me. Yeah. All right. So let's try this again. So once again, we're going to cut off the mouth. And oh, yeah, I want to show you guys this. So once we cut off the mouth here. Oh, yeah, there's like a little. If we cut down listen you hear oh, that oh yeah it went, that's so cool oh and then look at this so now when we cut this out there's like this little this little piece that comes out this one didn't really come out whole no oh, but that's so cool but that's the part that I sprouts that. actually yeah I heard that. and then when i'm cutting out this everything that i'm cutting out of here is all white and there's no black or no mold so that's good so that's good i yeah. think this is a good one so this is probably going to be a good one, yeah. So let's go ahead and pour this in. Look at that nice, clean, clear coconut water with very little shove wow. right now. That's such a good one. That's a really good one. Yeah, lots of water. So you can see oh. two, four, six, eight ounces of water. Eight ounces. Almost. 10 ounces of water in there. 10 ounces? 9. We're going to make it to 10. 10, 10, 10. 10 ounces of coconut oh water in this, co ten in this ounces brown exactly. coconut. Yeah, ten pretty ounces exactly. Yeah, pretty much exactly. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and crack this one open. All right. Look at that. Look at that. Whoa, yeah, you That's can That's nice that. and bright white. Do you oh see? Oh my God, can so I you, eat that? Well, in a second. So you could see, I want you guys always to open it up, coconut it up, and then look in between the shell. See between the shell, Nico, and the yeah. meat? You want to look for any discoloration. So I see mm. zero discoloration. Oh. I see, so like this last one, you could it see. It smells so good too. The discoloration, yeah, and then smell this. You smell that? Oh. And you smell this? You smell the difference between them? Oh, this smells so good. And then smell this one. Oh my god, that doesn't smell good. Yeah, so like, use your nose, guys, to determine if it's good or not. Your nose will tell you. Like, this smells kind of, kind of like coconutty. Look, it's like it's bright. It's totally bright white, and the brown, the other ones will kind of be bad. All right. So now the next thing we got, we got my special coconut demeating tool available Ooh. on Amazon for like twenty bucks. Make sure you get the good one. Um, it doesn't look like this anymore. I think it has like a brown handle. They have cheaper ones, but don't get those. They could break on you and be dangerous. And these are already dangerous as it is. So basically, you take this tool and you shove it in between the meat and the shell. And then you go in. Oh, wow, look. And wow. when I push that in, you can see that milk coming out. That's, that's literally coconut milk. That's like oh my God. so good. 
and then this is really hard to get out. You got to kind of like weasel this around and turn it and oh lift. And you got to be careful that you don't cut yourself when you're doing this. And this takes a lot of practice, people. So I'm not going to let you do this until you're maybe like 16 years old. 20. No, you can do it when you're 16. Yeah. I'll be 16 and come over and we can do it. Yeah, when you're 16, you can come back and I'll teach you how to do this. Yeah. Other than that, Uncle John's going to do it for now. Yeah. Wow. Okay, and then if you do a good job, you can get the whole thing out in one piece like this. Oh my god, this is so cool. And that's like a little shell. You could play like the shell game. You oh my hide god. a ball underneath there. You could use it's it as a bowl. Actually, the other thing, when you guys take this out, the nut, I kind of hit it right there with the tool, but basically this is the brown, I call this the testa. You could completely eat this. It's fine to eat. The issue with this is that... Um, it's just more fiber, but it's perfectly edible. Normally, it would get removed if you are using this for culinary uses because you don't want it your coconut, you know, shreds to be brown. Oh my God! You could, you, Uncle John, you could use this as a bowl. You could, but we're gonna take out the meat first. So now, Nico, let's go ahead and <gasps> cool. we're gonna shave off a little piece of this for you, like super thin. Oh my God! I know you just so there's a super so thin good. piece of like fresh coconut. Wait, can meat. you eat like the um, of the brown, of course. It's all, you can eat it all. So yeah, here's a oh shredded my coconut. God. Fresh. This is so good. You like it? Oh my god. It's so good. Yeah, this is so rich. You taste the oil in there. I love this. Mm. Super fresh. So sometimes I might grind this up and you could dehydrate it in your own coconut shreds. You can eat it fresh. It'll probably stay yeah. good in your fridge for a couple of days. If you want it to last longer, you could you could submerge it underneath water in your fridge. Really? It'll probably stay good for a week. Mm. But if it stay if it dries out, then it's gonna go bad quick. Mm. Alright, so the next thing I want to do for Nico is I want him to try the fresh coconut water out of the brown coconut. Now normally you would want to only drink the water out of like a Thai coconut or maybe even a white coconut. I have seen labels on some brown coconuts that says do not drink the water, and that's because the coconut could be bad. And the water is definitely not going to be as sweet as like a Thai or a Vietnam coconut or even the white coconuts from Mexico that are a lot better. So what I have here is I have basically a tea strainer and then I have a big mason jar and then basically we pour the coconut water with all the little bits in there and we pour this through the, the sieve, the tea strainer. And then now out the bottom, uh, this collects all the little particles and shell fragments and now we have the fresh coconut water. Uh, fresh filtered coconut water to drink. We'll give you some of that. And I will go ahead and have the rest. Mmm! I love this. You like this? You want more? Mm hmm. Alright, let me, I'll tell you guys what I think. Yeah, same. Mm. Wow, you know what? That's actually quite good. Mm hmm. So that's it's always like the ones that you can get at the store. Yeah, well, a little bit different. This is actually not bad, actually. It's better than I thought. Mm hmm. Mm. Yeah, it's actually kind of sweet. Mmm, so good. Yeah, it's really good. All right, Nico, so what did you think about learning about coconuts today? What did you learn? Um. Oh, I learned that it's better to um to crack your own than buy at the store. Like, what do you mean buy at the it's store? Because it's a good exercise, like a workout. Well, you got to make sure, like, you should probably get your parents to do it for you because it could be dangerous dealing with all these knives that are sharp and stuff. You could really, you could literally chop your arm off with this or something. I'll just call Uncle John. <laughs> yeah, I'd call your uncle to come over. Uncle John, I got a coconut. You got to open it for me. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, so what else did you learn about about this the um, coconuts today? That you can like drink like that. There's like a foam thingy. Yeah, the foam like thingy. But but then I didn't other... know what that was. I thought that it was just like this, but like a hollow. Inside. Nah, see that what happens is the I didn't water, know that. the water, the, the the little thing germinates and turns into an embryo, and the the meat feeds the embryo, and the water feeds the embryo, and the water soaks into the little sponge thing. Yeah. That basically is like. It feeds the the palm before it sends out roots into yeah. the ground. 
But our Uncle John learned to not buy the coconuts with the little nubs on yeah. them because they were all bad, but although one was edible. This one's good too. So I'm going to keep up with my technique of buying ones that are just totally sealed and that when you shake it, you want it to have the most water as possible because that will that's an indicator that it's going to be freshest and, you know, not be bad on the inside because the ones that have half water, as you guys can see from this side, these were kind of a little bit sketchy here. Yeah. All right, Nico, anything else you want to share with my viewers before we sign um, off today? Yeah, just be healthy. All right, be healthy. And I encourage you guys to buy fresh coconuts instead of getting any kind of packaged or bottled coconut. Also, make your own coconut <coughs> shreds, right? Yeah. The coconut, you could open the coconut, you could shred this up, you could dehydrate it. These coconut shreds that you make are going to be much more rich and delicious because they are, they'll be higher in fat content. And, you know, I've, I've made my own and then turned it into coconut butter. Completely amazing. You want to check my other videos uh, for that, all right? So if you guys enjoyed this episode with my nephew Nico and learning more about coconuts and coconuts at the dollar store and the sprouted coconuts, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also, be sure to share this video with somebody else you guys could think it could help. Um, also, be sure to click that subscribe button right down below so you don't miss out on my new and upcoming episodes that I come out every five to seven days. You never know where I'll show up or what you'll be learning on my YouTube channel. And finally, be sure to Check my past episodes. The past episodes are a wealth of knowledge. And I will let you guys know that coconuts are one of my favorite foods in the entire world. And I have over a dozen videos on eating coconuts, opening coconuts safely, even with things like butter knives. And how you open them with no tools in the airport. And all kinds of cool stuff. Alright? So uh, with that, my name is John Kohler and... Nico. <laughs> with OKRaw.com. We'll see you next time. Until then, remember, keep eating your fresh fruits and vegetables and your coconuts. They're always the best.